Welcome back to River Rat Garage. Today, we are going to build a clarinet lamp. And to build a clarinet lamp, you're going to probably need some basic tools like a screwdriver. A, I use a small crescent wrench, a, a pair of pliers, and, and some wire cutters. The products you're going to need to build this uh, thing is going to be a... a a base. I got this off an old lamp that I uh, had uh, parted out a long time ago and uh, looks like it'll work perfectly for what we're wanting to do. Uh, you're going to need a, uh, I got this old Victorian uh, lamp shade that I took off of a old uh, lamp that was uh, dated back to uh, 1854, I believe. Then something like this would probably set you back about $450, which, you know, still keeps in the budget mind of what we're trying to do here. Uh, and, of course, the clarinet itself, which is a uh, buffet cordon uh, uh, clarinet. Um, its value is around uh, ten grand, I believe, on eBay they're selling for. So, still very much in the budget as we're trying to do. And... Uh, Anyway, this is just a, a nice little basic job for an average person. And uh, if you happen to have a buffet uh, a clarinet laying around that you're not using, uh, I think this is a great idea. Plus, it makes for a great conversation piece. Also, you need a all thread. And, of course, I bought a three-foot section, which is $9.99 at Home Depot. And I had some of these extra nuts and washers left over from the old Victorian lamp that I, I took apart. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Uh, first thing you got to do is put the all thread into the uh, piece of hair on there anyway in in there and uh, and then uh, I am going to go ahead and put some of the nuts here on this that way you, you want to get that on. I always use a lock nut on these things because they tend to want to work a little loose, and you'll you'll see some lamps at thrift stores and stuff that are that are saggy and and such, and uh, that's because these nuts will work loose over a period of time, and uh, so we'll do that. Get a a crescent wrench here on this, and tight that baby down. And there's that. I already put the other one on here on top, and we'll just tighten that down. We'll get that all nice and tight use our pair of pliers and uh, tighten it down where it's nice and solid and we won't have a problem with it a lot of people will go ahead and use a uh, like a loctite on this uh, i prefer not to in case i decide i want to reuse some of these pieces for a, a different uh, uh, project anyway so there's that. The next thing you need is, of course, a, a lamp cord, which I happen to have laying around. I already had pre-stripped them, and I put some uh, tape on that. Why did I put tape on that? So that way you can slide it in to the hole right on up into the end of the lamp. And uh, when it comes out the end, you're pretty much there but you know what I made a mistake because I wanted to feed it through the other hole the other hole that I had drilled in here and uh, let's go ahead and get that in and then we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, get that in as you can see uh, it goes in pretty easily I went towards almost all the way through when it gets through, we'll, we'll show you it coming through the end. And there it is right there. The, uh, the old tie the wire trick, so that way it doesn't hang up on anything inside of here, is very important. Also, I'm going to put in a, on this end, uh, a little rubber, or not rubber, but a plastic bushing that kind of protects the wire from chafing and won't cause a, 
a electrical fire, which is probably something we all should be concerned with. Anyway, let's get this around where we can get to it. We'll take this tape off now. Uh, let's just leave it on for right now because we're not really up to that point. Anyway, we'll go ahead and just get that everything, get everything where it needs to be. Pull it on through a little bit more. We can always pull it back out. That's not a problem. Anyway, so now we're up to uh, putting this old cordon uh, clarinet in. And, uh, of course, this is something that you want to make sure when you're putting this together. You know, I have the wire exit. You want to have that opposite. So that way it doesn't show when people are, are looking at it. They want it to be very, very... Uh, well, you want to show all the keys and stuff. Which these here really work really nice for such a old clarinet. This is probably, probably uh, 19, turn of the century, 1900. Anyway, now we'll go up to the, the top of this thing and uh, we'll put uh, well, the, the lamp shade holder on. Let's get that on. There that is. I need to get up here myself and, uh, and a nut to hold this whole thing as I try to this is not a very good video, but this is my first attempt at showing actual how to uh, build a lamp. And uh, my loving and caring wife is not here to help me. So anyway, uh, of course, you want to uh, remember when you're putting tightening this stuff down. Here's the... Uh, the pull chain, I, I decided to go with a pull chain as opposed to the uh, the knob because this is a fairly tall lamp and in case I decide to put it up high, you'll be able to have a, a pull chain to, uh, you know, turn it off and on. I thought about putting in a, uh, a, a, a touch system into this. But where this is not really all metal and mostly ivory or black ivory, as we'll call it, uh, we uh, don't want to, uh, this won't work that way. So anyway, we'll go ahead and tighten this up. Let me get my, I'm over here with my, trying to do this, my crescent, trusty old crescent wrench and uh, looking through the camera at the same time, which does not work. Anyway, we'll go ahead and put tighten that down. And uh, this is really bad video, by the way. And uh, we'll go ahead and tighten that down. And uh, you got to remember where you want the pull chain to actual the pull chain here to line up where it's on the side of all these keys, because that's what you want to show. Is the keys so when you put tighten that down make sure you're looking at the pull chain side so you want that to be like kind of like right like right there everything to kind of be in that uh, direction it doesn't matter as far as these here go because they're gonna be covered up by the Victorian lampshade so anyway we'll go ahead and uh, Get that tightened down, and uh, which is probably going to be a little bit of a trick with me. I'm probably going to I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down and tighten that down, so that way I can move on to the next step. We'll tighten this down. It's only take a second, and uh, there she goes. It's nice and tight. Of course, I'm going to show you that these things actually come apart. So you can just simply put this base piece on the same way. Just simply slide it in. And, uh, and, it, and it screws on also. This is really not a very difficult thing. You take an old uh, vintage old lamp and 
take all your pieces and just whatever it doesn't matter where it ends up uh you're looking for the uh, this in particular one here has a set screw so we'll just tighten that down that way that'll keep that light bulb from uh moving around too much let me set the camera down while i tighten down the set screw oh this is really good okay there we go so anyway now we're up to uh putting the actual electronics on so let's get this thing down here where we can actually set the camera on the the table get this around where we can actually do a actual thing here where you can actually see what we're doing and uh, let's get that into into the camera and, uh, and here we are we're gonna that light is blaring in I didn't realize that was going on so let's try it this away and uh so uh, yeah that's a lot better isn't it guys anyway we'll get this uh wire off of this and uh easier said than done as we really there we go okay we got the wires off as you can see i've already pre-stripped them and here comes this piece here and it uh it simply after you take that base piece off it just simply slides off slides out no problem and uh there's that okay with these old lamps the uh a lot of people don't worry about one way or the other, but I do. Uh, this side here, let me get my screwdriver out again and uh, unscrew that. And that side there is already unscrewed. You got to got to make sure you uh Get these all the way out and we'll uh go ahead and get started on that right now not very good angles on this i'm gonna have to work on the next video we'll have angles and a better situation what we have going on here okay as you look at the wires you'll notice that one of them has like ribs on it that's usually the the dark uh black one and uh, of course you put that in on the copper coated one and you just simply uh, of course just tighten that make sure everything I usually solder these up then I put them in but uh, unfortunately I uh, didn't do that this time around I can always come back and, uh, I don't like that I don't like that either okay well let's, let's Take this back apart, get it the way I like it. And uh, so then we'll twisting these, the, twisting these wires, make them work a little better. The reason I always solder the ends of these is so that way they don't fray like we just witnessed. But we'll because I didn't bring the soldering iron around with me, I'm gonna to have to suffer with my mistake and simply put it in. Then we'll uh, there's that side. And let's do the other side pretty much the same way. We'll kind of wrap them wires up a little bit. And wish I would have soldered it, but I didn't. And uh, where am I at? There we are. And get that. 
Now, when you put these wires on, I guess I should explain, don't put them on the other way because that will make the wire spread and separate. That's not what you want to do. You want to have that hook going, well, like the direction I see, like that. If you put it on like that, when you tighten it, it'll actually cause, the screw will actually unfray the wires. And that's not really what you end up with a mess like that. That isn't what we want. We want this to be nice and tight. And so we'll just go ahead and hook that on again. So that way when you're looking at it, it looks really nice and neat. Uh, tighten that up. As I'm sure, although I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm kind of over, ain't I? I need to, I don't know why I am. I just now just looked at the camera and, and now I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up and uh, get that nice and tight. This here is a neutral side, so that's kind of that way. Anyway, then here we go. All you do is pull this wire and it brings the the lamp part here to the uh, end. Okay, now we'll bring in this piece, which happens to have cardboard lining, and you slide it over everything, like such. Oh, the cardboard's wanting to move, there we go. And slide it into place. Then you just simply pull everything together. I want that to be there. So, oh, there we go. When you line up the, uh, as you can see, the there's line up marks for everything. You line it up and snap it in. So right there, you have the lamp pretty much together. Right now at this point, we'll pull the cord the rest of the way through so you ain't got that little hoop hanging down. And there's that side of it as you can see that's kind of what you're wanting to look at the lamp is come right along so now we'll we'll come up here to the upper side of this and uh, slide let's get these up out of the way this always helps I'm doing this all by one hand by the way I'm trying to do the so you slide them in Whoa. and the camera goes flying down on the ground. <laughs> oh man, I didn't say it was going to be easy. Anyway, you hook them in and uh, make sure you get them in there. There it is. Slide them retainers in. That's important because uh, it keeps the lamp from coming so anyway here's what we got so far we got the clarinet sitting on the on the thing and on the base it's all up and going let's go ahead and put the uh, oh we better put a light bulb in there nice thing about these type uh, lamps you can use an incandescent light bulb or a led or one of them fancy swirl ones i happen to have an incandescent one sitting here right here in front of me so we'll just go ahead and screw that in and, and we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put the uh, lampshade on and we'll put the a nice little finial off that antique Victorian lamp lampshade on, which, and here we go with this, and uh, we'll go ahead and give it a little bit of a try here. <laughs> 